Well, hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another video. This is the CryptoClickers V1.5 devlog, and today I'm gonna to show you what's new in this update. First, let's start with Ethereum. So, um, as you can see in drones, I added a new setting in here, minimum auto buy drones. So basically what you can do is when your auto is on, you can set a minimum number. So let's say we want it to be 100, so now, It'll only buy drones if we can buy at least 100. Now we can change this to 1,000, 10,000, one. Uh, you can keep that as whatever amount you want. But yeah, so that's what that does. Challenges, so a few things uh, new in challenges. Let's start with the guides. So I decided to add a scrollable um, challenge order list right here. And I mean, you can try to select these, but obviously it's not broken. So you gotta turn off uh, select mode and then select your server so let's say i want to use this one for sorry this server tree import for challenge 6.2 yeah so it tells me to use this one right so you can see there's all these challenges that you need to do before e308 ethereum and then you can take a break and then start to do node so there you have that another thing i added to challenges is the auto challenge so this is a very unique feature where it just basically just does all your challenges for you if you've checked if you've seen that auto challenges video i've posted earlier or a few weeks ago that's pretty much what this is and if you haven't well you're in for a surprise so here you go in node i have gotten rid of one of the bitcoin boosts and that was for micro faucets it was too overpowered and it just kind of broke micro faucets made it completable in one minute or less so i got rid of that okay so in bitcoin we have quite a few things let's start with speed runs so as you can see we have a whole new interface for speed runs and yeah we have a whole new system so you have a set of 20 speed runs you can do here uh, you also have your auto speed runs it works the exact same way as auto challenges which is very nice um, so basically what it does is that if you enter the C1 speedrun right here, you basically just can't start challenge one. And you also have a higher goal rather than the old speedruns too. So it goes all the way to challenge 18. Challenge 18 is last because that's the one where you get 750,000, um, server parts on your last attempt. So obviously it makes it a lot harder. So yeah, you got all these to do and, uh, you get rewarded for, obviously I can do these really fast, but you get more Bitcoin for completing these. And once you complete all of these, you can move up another tier and the reward will be much higher and the goal will also be much higher as well. So in Halfening is a pretty interesting change. So basically, so unfortunately, things will reset here. Okay, so if you've played Halfening in the past, it'll all be gone. Okay, so and how this works now is that you generate a Ethereum passively. And this is based off of how long you've been in this Halfening run the happening runs total. So instead of jumping in really quickly as fast as you possibly can, you need to stay in as long as you can. But you also wanna get out at a certain point where you can buy this burn time upgrade here and also all the other upgrades too to speed up your progress. So it's based off of your total time. You can see after happening, you'll get approximately this much. So you can see it's very close, but now you just get a slightly bit more. So it is a waiting game. So while you're in these, you can just grind some Bitcoin as well. Since your Bitcoin gain won't be affected that much, just play around and do stuff. It's more of to promote idling instead of that massive annoying grind like it was before. So I feel like that was a better approach for this. And yeah, this is the new happening. Also, in a really unimportant addition to the game, I have added two in-app purchases to the Steam version if you want to support me in my game. It's the free ad pop-up as you can see right here. Uh, we gotta close that. But basically you get the free rewards like you get on mobile, but you don't have to watch ads. So you basically just get these for free. If you want to support me, you can buy these if you want. There's also uh, a two times ad frequency as well for both mobile and PC. Again, only if you want to support me, you're not required to buy these at all to complete the game. I promise you. Oh, wow. one more thing I forgot to mention is that I played, if you watch my streams, you would know, but I basically play the game from zero to the very end. Uh, this isn't the save that I played on, but I played from zero to the very end. So I, I made sure to balance the game, adjust all the costs and everything, um, nerf this upgrade a bit, like the cost-wise, so it doesn't grow as fast. I made sure that the game was in perfect shape, and I am very happy with how it turned out. However, there might be some things I still need to nerf, like a node, maybe make some costs a little cheaper and stuff like that, but we'll see. 
We'll see how everyone thinks of this update. And if you enjoyed this update and this video, make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Share this video and the game with your friends if you, if you think they would enjoy it as well. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Turn on the bell for future notifications. And if you want to support my channel, all you got to do is scroll down below the video, click that join button, and select any of the tiers and join. And you will be supporting my channel. And if you don't want to do that, as always, you can check out my Patreon. The link's in the description below, patreon.com slash cryptograns. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video slash update. Have a great day and night. Peace.